us to say these few words on this occasion, uh, which is Alison Ross's latest exhibition. And I say latest intentionally because I think it's worth emphasizing that over the course of an exceptionally busy life, Alison has always found time, has always made time for her art. As Shetland of Burcastle for the past 35 years or so, there have been a very great many demands laid on her. But even while engaging with the many different roles that she's been expected to play and tackling the multitude of challenges that this has been thrown to her in charge of a, of a place such as Burr, and although it may seem uh, splendid on the outside, I think we can say with confidence that it's much tougher when you are on the job itself. <laughs> Nevertheless, she's dis always discovered space and made opportunities to return to art as witnessed by the exhibitions of her work over successive decades. Now to accomplish this, especially in the seemingly effortless way that she always does, requires considerable discipline to be brought to the experience. And in this respect, Alison is like her friend and fellow artist that some of you may know, Lindy Dufferin, with whom she has gone on more than one painting expedition in the past. Both women are artists who must perforce sometimes forsake their creativity, but only ever temporarily. They always come back to it because art is an essential part of their character. And this is what I want to emphasize. This is why Alison Ross is an artist. She has no say in the matter. It's actually in her DNA, something she couldn't shake off even if she really wanted to do so. Which, happily for us, she doesn't want to. <laughs> And even when circumstances must have appeared least propitious, she has found opportunity, she has made opportunity to work on and with her art. So, for example, as some of you may know, prior to their return to Ireland, when she and her family were living in Iran, she took advantage of the chance there to work on archaeological sites and used that to hone her skills in draftsmanship or should I say perhaps draft womanship, <laughs> or given the person we're considering, drafts ladyship. <laughs> anyway, whatever the correct terminology, she sees the opportunity and the results we are now fortunate enough to see around us here on the walls in the United Arts Club tonight. You'll have noticed that there are two, if you've explored the exhibition and not spent too much time talking to each other, there are two uh, thematic groups running through here. One is interiors, um, and the other are landscapes. And they're linked, both of them, by stillness and also by absence of people. I think there's a dog in one picture, but that's yeah. all. Otherwise, there are no people in any of the, of the paintings here tonight. And, by, and that stillness means it's an opportunity to focus and concentrate. It requires her to pay absolute attention and to, to really pitch her mind on the importance of capturing the moment and bringing it with her and to us in the forever. And given the hurly-burly of what is and has always been much of her life, we can understand the allure of that stillness and focus, representing, as it does, the chance to fix her eye on what is immediately before her and to ignore everything else around her. I'm sure you'll in, uh, join with me in saying, long may she continue to find those moments, since we are all the beneficiaries of that. Alison, congratulations on this, your latest <laughs> exhibition. And I'm sure many more are to follow because, as I've already said, you are an artist and therefore you must engage, whether you want to or not, with your own creative eye. Thank you for doing so. We're all the richer for it. And thank you to all of you for coming along this evening. Please enjoy the exhibition. Yeah.